Welcome to my first uh, attempt at a fucking retribution campaign. We'll see how it goes. How is retribution different from liberation? It's basically the same thing, but just with some quality of life stuff. It's just, uh, basically they added settings and stuff that the main lib team didn't or couldn't do. So they, they made this offshoot, but it's bas it, it runs basically the same, but it's, uh, there's just a little more customizability available. Nice. Um, alright, let me pull up the flights. Are we taking off from the team? Some of you probably are. Um, Alright, Spirit Flight. Um, Roland, Mulder, Atlas, and uh, Woe in F-16s. Um, you guys are taking off from Hatsarim, which is Mia. And uh, primary objective is going to be... Ooh, excuse me. Um, Seed just behind the front line. There is SA 11, SA 6, and I think that was it right here. And HQ 7, it looks like, whatever that is. I think that's Chinese, Chinese version, right? Yeah. Um, and it looks like they do have SA 15, so they're going to need uh, some, some coordination, would be good to uh, get those harms through. Uh, once you're done with your primary objective, you can uh, work on... There's SA-2 down here. There's SA-10 out here. So there is plenty of seed work to be done. Um, or if you'd like to switch to cap, uh, there will be some enemy flights coming out of Malez. Uh, but yeah, any questions, seed guys? Cool. Um, JetBlue, Lucid, Midi, and myself um, in F-18s. Uh, um, we're going to be doing tar cap over the front line, uh, but we may also have to help with some of the front line stuff because I'm not sure... Oh no, Mobius is here, okay. So we at least have that. Um, but yeah, basically we're just doing cap... Um, and probably dropping some bombs on the front line as well because there are quite a few units that need to be taken care of. So if you want to bring kind of a mixed loadout, um, the air threats today aren't aren't super threatening, so you, you should be safe to bring mixed loadouts. Uh, any questions, you guys? Negative. Cool. And last but not least, the virtually empty Frontier Flight, which is Bolts, Mobius, Atlas, and Elric. So, basically only Mobius and Atlas as of right now, but we'll see if the other guys show up. Where'd everybody go? <laughs> exactly. So, uh, you guys are going to be working on the front line. Um, this front line is starting with basically a giant red advance. They're advancing towards Hatsarim, so... Your gut, you guys are, your primary objective is to stop that advance, because um, we don't want to be pushed back on turn one, that would suck. Uh, so bring lots of bombs. Any questions? Is this a higher priority than the seed mission? Um, I mean, seed's going to be important just to give us some breathing room, because this stuff is right up against the front line. Um... But once that stuff's done, yeah, I would say I would say we definitely need the front uh, some work done on the front line. Just making sure we have some time until that thing breaks through. Yeah, yeah, and we do have some units, but they're basically performing a fighting retreat. Uh, um, all right. Any other questions? Uh, weather is good, clear, no rain, no fog, a little windy, uh, um, but that's about it. Any other general questions? Word. Um, okay. I don't know that it'll matter on this mission, but I've noticed since ED updated the Viper's alignment process that if you don't do a full alignment, you get a lot more drift of your steer points. Yeah, I've noticed that too recently. In the, uh, in the 
16. This pain in the dick. We're gonna be deadly tonight. I think a full one takes like eight minutes or so. Yep. But if you learn how to fix your steer points, you can reset it back to accuracy. If you search on the, just look at the HOTAS controls, it should be on your throttle handle. It's like depressing the cursor switch or something. I can look at my controls real quick, one moment. Apparently I don't have the enable switch probably. Yeah, it's the enable one. Uh, for the first alignment, the course alignment, you use the you center it and then you press the uh, enable. It will tell you it's mining. Once it's done, then you press select and then just use select throughout the rest of them. Enable switch, depress, throttle grip, potas. Okay, it looks like stuff's taken off. Everything's moving. We like that. There, now I'm moving. Doesn't add that much time. Hopefully, I don't run into an F 15. Smitty's in front of me. <laughs> Maybe that's not Mitty. Maybe that's someone else. I'm on that back of the carrier. Oh, okay. I forget who else is in the flight. Uh, yeah, I think it's me. Loose it. That's it. Something that'll upset you, other than me skipping the alignment, is that I set up my MFDs like I'm in an 18. Three five one departing two eight right. Three five one departing two eight right. A little. What are we in Anderson? Yeah, let's take the active. You have that hookup okay, Doug? Yeah, that's true. Yep, I'm um, good. 
you just follow the dude waving at you. Yes. Well, it's his first time on a supercarrier, huh? Well, it would be if I had installed the module yet. Okay, never mind. <laughs> 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 but I have not. Because I kind of ran out of time. Yeah, I did not see you rolling up until the last one. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. I'll chase you. Come get me. I'm not going too far. PGM-1 on the closest snow drift radar and magnum. rather than 15s. I'm not sure what a 19 is. Interesting enough, I don't think they're awake yet. We are still at a program 5. Magnum, SA-11. Has anyone taken any shots at that 19? Negative. Negative. Alright, I'm gonna pop off one. In the heaven, she curses I'm gonna launch on the 215. Magnum time to Eleven is right in the middle of the corner. Eleven's going after me. Should I go for the second right here? Defensive, SA eleven. Eleven. Okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Shut down. Okay. 
I say I let him defeat it. get us some stuff. Five kills. And we still have one harm left. It's gonna do some good. is 
5-1 departing hats. station with four new harms. Magnum times two, SA-15. I think 
That was a shack on the 19, I'm not sure. Say 19 on the west. Magnum Big Bird. Jack one, I say 19. Negative. I'm getting nothing from SA-11. Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. Spike SA six.
Ted's over it. Run, dope, run! Oh, you're going fast, buddy. This is nice to hear. Guess we'll go after the SA-10 next. <laughs> Defeated, buddy. Good job. Still rearming? Mulder, you still rearming? Sorry, Sorry. just 
taking a bathroom Back. break. I am rearmed. Wait 30 seconds. <laughs> Will do. Woe's landed from the other way. Magnum, SA-19. Easy there. That's all I knew. One turn in final two eight right. You off yet, Mulder? No, I no, figured, I figured we'd, we'd wait, wait for everybody, everybody and go all at once all after that SA ten. Roger.
mistake is this the proper way to do it because of the wind conditions, but I have no idea which way the wind is blowing. I don't know what a smerch is, but it's unleashing on the front line. It's a big multi-launch rocket system. Yeah. Well, he's leaving a lot of smoke, so it'll be easy for me to find him. I rearmed, but it doesn't look like my center fuel was refilled. In order to get them to refuel the center tank, you have to open up your air-to-air -air refueling door to depressurize the tank before you tell it to refuel, otherwise it won't refuel it. Now what you'll need to do is enable your ground jettison switch and select the jettison, drop it, and then rearm. To enable your ground jettison switch, it's on the left near your gear. Go from your gear lever, go all the way left to the wall. It says ground jet enable. Turn that up. Thanks, that works. Sir. Hi. All right, I'm ready. The uh, smirch is gone. You guys go ahead and take off. I'll catch up. Copy that. Copy that. I am waiting, ready, ready on, on two eight left. Whoa, why don't you line up with me and we'll take off together? What's our next target? The SA ten. Just Once we get up, we'll yeah, read off some coordinates for everybody if you need them. Also, two, three, four magnetic for ninety. I'll follow you and look at that. I'm sure it's not. Bye. 
I roll. Under starry skies, a soldier reborn. Navigating through the strife in the face of scorn. My boys battle him, calling to the bold. In the land of shadows, it's the light I hold. Coming left to 240.
Request refueling. Request Copy. rearming. Copy. Oh, okay. I just got like six kills with one bomb. That's some crazy ass fights. Nice. I still have a bit of fuel if anybody wants me to paint targets. Bye, Mobius. Ah, uh, see ya, buddy. Well, uh, if these missiles have their way with me, that's definitely going to be a goodbye soon enough. <laughs> oh, he just flew underneath us.
hell was that? Um, somebody tried to land, but turned into a fireball instead. I don't know. I've got my feet five wheels off the fucking runway on the other end, and suddenly the opposite end of the runway explodes. I'm sorry, you've got your feet five wheels off the runway? Rifle armor?
Nice, now all of my systems, they stand by. Well, that's... Water yeah, it's launched around me too. Turn around, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I believe we call this one Bahaing over the curb. out can a uh, laser spot track um, like C anyone know from like a Tunguska no 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 like a like on your teapot laser laser spot track laser search track whatever it is LST uh, yeah I think not I'm not sure I don't know that I've ever heard an actual number no I'll Some of the number. jets, the laser is limited to 20,000 feet of range, but I don't know if that also applies to the spot track or not. I'm not sure. Rifle 96B. I might just be looking in the wrong spot, too. Most of the altitude restrictions are on the laser emitter, not, right. the, not the camera per se. I think these ones are emitting smoke, so you should be able to basically put the yeah, bar right. on the red smoke and it should find it, theoretically. Theoretically. Go 
Go at, let's go. <laughs> we'll clean them up.
infantry are spread out all across the front line. The vehicles might be in like some of the city stuff near the coast. And there's some down south um, towards the desert. Rifle BTR. Definitely almost had a friendly fire incident. Try hard. Almost doesn't count. It's yeah, not it's hand lined grenades. Up on a couple, lined up on a couple tanks, and uh, they were not enemies. <laughs> uh, it was the challenges, I think, next to the airbase. No, I it, yeah, I, I saw. Yeah. I think I saw the leopards that are like kind of behind the front line. I didn't realize which side of the front line I was on. <laughs>
Alright, so they're on the other side of that fence. The idea is I can sneak up on them with my rockets. It looks like we need a lot of mopping up of infantry around the front line. Copy that, I'll head there next. Lots of soft targets. Some MiG 21s. Boats rolling. From Doak. Uh, two eighteen forty one at six. Alright. Still have some round stuff to do, but let's have more fun with this one. You know. They said, I guess it could. You engaging? Uh, shortly. I'm still at like 40. I should have worked, but what am I going to do these two? I'm going to lock up the rear guy. And I'll just start with the front. I'm gonna get like within 10 before I shoot those fucking AMRAMs. Yeah, I'm waiting, to, waiting for the computer to tell me I can shoot. And there it's starting to go. Fox 3 on the leader. <coughs> I'm cranking left. 
Looks there in the trail guy, cranking right. Watch it run. Watch it run. Another Fox 3, just for the hell of it. Watch it run. Flash one. Just watching the yours. Splash two. Where's the middle guy? Did you fire on the middle guy? I don't think so. Alright.
astronomy. Later, bitch. No, no. Jeez, that guy fucking really went for it. Crap, Doug, this thing almost doesn't fit in the hair. What, the F-22? Yeah. That's pretty funny. Well, you have an insane wingspan, huh? I wonder what the real one's like, like fuel capacity is. Like, with wings that big, I wonder if uh, it has a... You've got a lot size. of internal fuel. I would say, I mean, it's about the size of an F-15, so I'm sure it's on par. Yeah. And cleared to start up. No. Oh. oh, dude, I'd never even wait for the chief to get it all clear. I didn't even ask. I don't know why they told me no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of attitude I need to start having every day. Fuck you, I'm an F-22. Who are you to tell me what to do? Yeah, right? What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come fight me. I dare you to fight me. <laughs> There's a stupid thing here. God, I hope I can make this turn. Okay, good. You can see him right there with the fire. There's like an acetylene tank right in front of my hangar. Thank you. 
But yeah, I think it's like 30,000 total with fuel tanks. According to with the game, the at least. Stealth fuel tanks. Well, you know, the only thing that uh, breaks uh, the whole radar special thing, we allow our, our, our allies to, to have access to. See. Say that again? Well, wasn't it like um, our F-35s were losing to, like, the European fighters because they were wearing the, the gas tanks? Oh, yeah, because they had the fuel tanks on. I'm sure that was intentional. Oh, yeah. Or we don't actually have stealth yeah, outside of 117, and that's just like a whole little you know, Well, this GBU's we got to give them something to think about. Even if the F-22 doesn't have stealth and maneuverability, it's still ridiculous. Fuck yeah. Oh, I am fucking about to eat the ground. Jesus. 351 departing 28 right. Those 2,000 pounders do so much damage to everything around. They really do. It's hilarious. kind of are disappointed. That is what you said. Mobius, you have two grumble missiles yeah, nearly on you. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> There's number two. Defeated. Doesn't like me very much. I can't imagine why. One spike in me is not near the coast, it's coming from inland to my five o'clock. Like in Venom or Blur. There's, there's one like dead center of the peninsula itself. Alright, well, we got missiles I out on this. I am there. Winchester and I'm also going to jump off and go watch hockey. Um, just ping me when you guys are done and I'll switch the mission back and grab the state and all that stuff. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you for putting it together. Absolutely. Wait a
happy. Better on. Well, because it looks like you're enjoying the F uh, 15. It does work rather well. <laughs> I like the skin. Yeah, there's. There's one 208 for 93. Is that the one here is? Uh, that's the default one. I'm running a uh, custom setup now. I, that's why I was confused because uh, oh. mo most people weren't running it. <laughs> Wait, you have yeah, a Hello Kitty and an Adventure skin as well? <laughs> hey, that's... Shush you. Hey, don't, don't expose <laughs> yourselves. Hey, that's where we first met. <laughs> Nothing beats the star scream. Atlas, stop talking, please. <laughs> Don't worry, they Let's don't know where we're all our secrets just yet. I'd say it was a good first coming back mission for me. I landed well, done twice. Already? Well, I got shut down. I didn't use my second plane yet, but I'm like... Yeah. Well, there are spares available, too. At least I think they still are. Yeah, I'm already on my oh, second sure. spare. Yeah, there should be two, right? I used one. But, uh, but no, well, you know, I think he didn't count that, mine. He mentioned, he mentioned at the beginning a few spares being present. I think they were for Atlas, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, black. Well, I didn't use Pipers. mine, so I didn't use my second one. So there's definitely a second F-16 because I don't think he charged me for the F-22. I'm still on my first 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I hadn't crashed, I'd have been able to land my F-16. I didn't get shot down. DCS crashed. Yeah, you don't lose a plane when that happens. Oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't count. Oh, yeah, I forgot I the fucking like Star Scream skin was base game. Well, oh, it was yep. included in the mod by default. I forgot about that. I looked Super over sick. for nope. a split second, fight or flight kicked in. <laughs> Why do you carry a gun in the house? Decepticons, man. I laughed, she laughed, the toaster laughed, I shot the toaster, it was a good time. <laughs> man, I don't know how many times I hear that joke. It gets it's still funny every time. <laughs> I mean every time. <laughs> I mean there's a reason I keep this thing here. As much as I like this little battle station, if it turns into a fucking transformer on me, it better be honest about its allegiance. We all know we play too much DCS. They're Decepticons. We know that. I don't know. I like to think this little workhorse is a good is a good guy. It's not exactly high budget. For some reason, this strikes one me I... as being more likely to be a good guy than a bad guy. The cheaper it is. The only one I'm disappointed in is they don't have the actual like reflective paint job one. The paint that they tried with this to help it a little bit more. But it makes it look like a mirror. Oh, that's that cool thing's so shit. cool. And there's that other new one where it looks like it has like this little clear coat over like like the normal kind of color, so it's like always pristine. Accidentally super cruised again. <laughs> That's so cool. We're not supposed to do that? Uh, it's no, it's just I'm not accustomed to being in a plane that will super cruise when I'm not looking. <laughs> yeah, watch that when you go into a dog fight. <laughs> Might rip your wings off. Well, speaking of rip your wings off, you want to know a dirty trick in the Tomcat? What? So. Yes. Tomcat's got its uh, wing folding stuff tied to the main computer, CADC, yeah? Mm hmm Well, a certain Tomcat pilot had an idea, and the short version is um, intentionally enter the fight with the wings swept back 
well below what speed would actually warrant that sweep. It makes the aircraft look significantly faster than it actually is. Ah! They start turning yeah, expecting you to be a fast Tomcat. Except yeah. you're not a fast Tomcat. Yeah, as soon as the merge happens, 18? you swing the wings forward. <laughs> get back to where they're actually supposed to be. Still badass, though. And they, like, dumped a shit ton of fuel on the turn. <laughs> Notice I'm not on the line. I'm beside it. That's a fun I'm going to start heading towards it, Mulder, because I'm going to have to get really close to piss it off. Copy. I am rearming. Before I take off, let's make sure the IFF is not going fast. Lining up for 1 0 right. Then the one zero right that Mobius is coming down. Well, oh, I slipped to the right, you slipped to the right. We'll be fine. We'll get the I'm good. Alright. Yeah, the F-16 the F never swims at all. Boulder, I can probably join you. All right, I'm taxiing. Are you going for the uh, SA-10 or something? The SA-10 uh, that is uh, 208 heading from the runway. Same one you were attacking. No, I think it's a different one. Uh, Whoa went after it. That's the one that shot him down. Ah, gotcha. Thank you. 
towards 208. Are you at 16,000 feet? Yes. I'm at uh, 27. Are you going to 35 or 30? Yeah, let's go to 35 and I'll get into burner and start climbing a little more aggressively here. Gallons or pounds? Uh, Twenty thousand plus internal. Yeah, that's that's quite a bit. I mean, in fairness, it means I get to carry all the fucking payload I want, even in burner half the fucking time, and not care. But god damn it, ten minutes it's, to refuel is getting annoying. Especially when you're doing air-to-air -air refueling, that'll wear you out. Getting spiked from the ten. SA ten. I think it's spiking yeah. me. I think I see you, Mulder. Going defensive. Passing through 33. Yeah, I'm behind you. I see the SA-10 on my hat. Same. Let's uh, launch Magnums. Are you ready? No, I'm at PGM-5 and I don't have any range to it. Let's, uh, we can uh, bank a little bit to the left or something. No? Sure. Or sure, let's do that. Triangle it. But let's uh, group up first. That's our problem. All right, let's try this again. I got too close. I have a message TDOA and I can't lock on the same ten for some reason. Uh, that's arms? me. That's me. I initiated a group lock so that we can get better triangulation faster by okay. me sucking your uh, HAD information. Right now I'm not locked on it though. I see it on my HAD. Yeah, looks like it just shut off. Yeah. Going back up. Well, we can circle it potentially. I'll uh, try to fly near you. Alright. Finally launched. See the about this. What speed are you at? 
269 indicated. SA 10 spike. Yep. I'm gonna probably blink a little to the right. PGM 2, how about you? PGM 3. Turning in. Okay, turn it in. Are you on afterburner? Yes. Sorry. I'm going into afterburner. Alright, you want to call out? Magnum times two, three, A10, SA10. Magnums will find you. Others are still tracking? Uh, SA2 now. SA2's got me locked up. Okay. Nope, no more. Oh. SA2 launch defensive. Yeah, so we got the SA10 though. Smack okay. apps don't track it anymore. Alright, returning to base to get more, I guess. Help me wild these with this SA2 for a moment. Me, I don't know how to do that. Uh, okay. Wild Weasel just means you try and get it to lock you up by making yourself a threat so that the missile that's out on me it forgets about it, abandons it. Oh, okay. Um, they should be good. Director. Looking forward to uh, practicing that. Yeah, they're defeated. On the deck. Yep, defeated. Okay. Good job, guys. Took nice. out the SA-10. Hey. Very well done, guys.
Oh, it's a tree line. Oh, that's some dirt. Hold on, buddy. I'm doing a crash landing now. I'm still alive, so I think that means I get another plane. You got to buy there at 16. <laughs> 